Hi, Rocky again. This time I'd like to show off error recovery and more of the Solidity AST. This extension by default tracks changes to the file and is recompiling in the background. Here when I remove this semicolon, uh, you see we get an error and uh, put it back together, put it back. And you can see this is pretty fast even though I have an imp uh, open Zeppelin import and this import in fact imports a number of other files. A recent change to made to Solidity 0.5.10 was to add more error recovery. So let me show that. This file of multiple errors has a number of errors and you can see that it it com did a compilation when I opened it and that was also pretty fast. So here I have lots of errors. Uh, and you can see the errors here down at the bottom and where where we recovered, uh, which is pretty much at the end there. So, But if there had been other functions and contracts that didn't have errors in them, uh, that would still be OK. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start fixing the errors and you watch down here uh, how fast the recompilation is and uh, as I make the changes. OK, let's try that. That. And that's the amount tab complete. Uh, missing one here. Thirteen. Okay, and so you can see that we also get undeclared identifiers. So it's, this is not just strict syntax. There's there's deep something deeper going on. So let me change that to receiver. And now we, we don't have any problems. And you can see that the AS tree, T tree uh, refreshed here. Uh, if I put in a type error, you'll, uh, right? So, so again, I'm just trying to emphasize that we're not just um, doing parsing errors. This is, this is full com compilation errors. So let me now show you the AST uh, tree view. Uh, here's the Explorer window here. And well, yeah, you can see when I hover, I, I get everything there. But if I click on something, uh, we box it. And this is a toggle, so box, unbox. And I can dog paddle down here. OK, here's the mapping. and address for that and the elementary address for that. Uh, so this, this might be helpful. Uh, it's very similar to the recently introduced outline features that VS Code introduced. So let me show a little bit of what comes with VS Code and TypeScript to get some idea of what this outline may become. May become. So Okay, here's, here's VS Code's outline for TypeScript, which is pretty advanced. So you can see we have get children here, and, and I, I, again, I can dog paddle down into that and, and move around that way. Uh, I should also mention another way right now of uh, changing the display is we do have these elisions. Uh, oh, well, actually, I should show that in our code. We have, we have, uh, so I can elide mall here or library. So that's available as well. However, the outline is a little bit different. Also cool would be, uh, oh, notice, notice that I'm in a different file. So of course I get a different tree here. So that, that updates as well. So what would be cool would be to show the correspondences between the byte code and the source code. And a natural way to do that would be via this AST tree where we would build off of this code. 
and expand into what's what's going on. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I think that's that's all I have for this.